Here's a quick video showcasing some German food. Quality approval. Here are the top five most popular German foods. Einfach lecker. Weißwurst mit süßem Zimpf, or white sausage with sweet mustard, is a Bavarian specialty that is in many ways emblematic of Bavarian culture and tradition. A type of Brühwurst, or scalded sausage, it is most often served with sweet mustard and a type of soft pretzel called Brezel. It can be served at breakfast, rather surprisingly, but can be eaten at any time of the day, which is why a large stein of beer is something that almost always accompanies it. Weißwürste can be eaten in a variety of ways, from the standard cutting them into pieces and dipping them into sweet mustard, to the traditional Bavarian way called Zutzeln, or sucking in Bavarian, which involves sucking the meat out of the sausage. But however you decide to eat your Weißwurst, we know you'll love it. Sauerbraten, or pickled roast, is a near universal German specialty that everyone needs to try at least once. It's essentially a type of pot roast that can be made from lamb, beef, pork, venison, and even horse. Oh, it's Normally, good. the meat is marinated for several days in a variety of spices, along with vinegar, wine, and other seasonings, and when finally served, has a very distinct flavor, with the meat being incredibly tender and delicious due to days of marinating. It's often served alongside the traditional German side dish called Knödel, which is a type of dumpling often made of dough or potato starch and pickled red cabbage with bits of apple. Sauerbraten is considered by some to be the preeminent national dish of Germany, and once you you taste it, you'll surely know why. Rote Grütze, or literally red grit, is a sweet dish traditionally made in northern Germany. It's usually made with a type of starch, sometimes potato, or more traditionally, semolina, and is then mixed with what are sometimes called red summer berries, such as red currant, blackberries, black currant, raspberries, strawberries, and others of the kind. The preparation is simple and involves mixing the berries with the grit by boiling them together and mixing them with sugar, similar to a pudding. The result is a simple but unbelievably sweet dessert that is both mouthwatering and typical of northern German cuisine. Turivur. Here's a video showcasing some German art. German art, old and new, will be on display in London this year and it's likely to be a revelation to British art lovers who have long ignored this area. Why have we sidelined German art and should we rate it more highly? In London's National Gallery there are treasures of German art, all the great names we know, Dürer, Holbein and Lucas Cranach the Elder, one of the greatest German painters of the 16th century. It's not really a surprise to find such a masterpiece in London. There are 34 Cranachs in British national collections alone, which only goes to show how much English and Scottish collectors prized this work. Yes, we loved and we still love Cranach and Dürer and Holbein and other German greats. And in subsequent centuries, especially the 18th and 19th, German culture led the way for the Western world with its poetry, music, philosophy and literature. Germany invented the romantic sensibility, and Caspar David Friedrich's Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog, created in 1818, was the icon of its times. But in the 20th century, it all went wrong. Many people stopped appreciating or even trying to understand the new art that was coming out of Germany, wonderful though much of it was. I must admit that my own cultural map focused very strongly on France and Italy, with Germany a sideline. So it's time for a rethink, and this year in London is a perfect opportunity. German art is all around us. And this, Cupid Complaining to Venus, painted about 1525, is one of the stars of the National Gallery's exhibition of German Renaissance art entitled Strange Beauty. Something of the complexity and depth that we see in the Cranach runs right through German art up to the modern era. Here at the British Museum, where you might expect to see only antiquities, there's a wonderful opportunity to study some 90 contemporary and 20th century works by such masters as Richter, Pollock and Baselitz. They're from the collection of Count Durkheim and the show is called Germany Divided. What strikes us seeing Uh, here's part of German's special occasions and holidays. And according to GermanWay.com in 2017, Oktoberfest begins in September and it's probably the most famous and well-known of German's holidays. But there's also a lot of other ones. Here are just a few. Well, let's start off with there's Oktoberfest. It lasts about 16 days. It always begins in the third weekend of, of September and it usually ends on the first Sunday of October. Uh, the history of it 
began with the royal wedding on October 12th in 1810 between the crown prince Ludwig and when they married Princess Therese of Saxony, Hildens Saxony Hildbergelsen on October 12th. The citizens of Munich were all invited to attend the festivals held on the fields in front of the city gates to celebrate the happy royal event. And horse races in the presence of the royal family marked the close of the event that was celebrated as a festival for the whole of Bavaria. The decision to keep doing the horse races every year gave rise to the tradition of Oktoberfest. Uh, October 3rd is German Unity Day. It's Germany's national holiday that commemorates the official date of German reunification uh, marked by the 1990 Unification Treaty. Uh, they also celebrate the National Day of Mourning in November on the Sunday two weeks before the first advent of Sunday in memory of the Nazi victims and the dead in both world wars and similar to Veterans Day or Memorial Day in the U.S. And then on December 6th they celebrate St. Nicholas Day. It's when children get small gifts from St. Nicholas. No, it's not Santa Claus. And here's a quick video showing Oktoberfest. Da reißt das Hosentür an seiner Lederhose. And that was a Oktoberfest in 2017. And that's it for my presentation on Germany. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.